everyone that I know that has bees, they say that your garden just flourishes, your flowers just do really good. I'm excited, we are beekeepers. <laughs> When I get back uh, from our trip, I need to finish painting the rest of the beehives. I got these ready to go for the next layer when the bees are ready for those, but I just ran out of time. What can I say? So we're starting out with two beehives and we picked them up last night. I was thinking that when the lady from uh, Ford Bees called us, she said, you know, they wouldn't be home until after seven. I thought maybe the husband and the wife worked and they had a commute, but she was talking about the bees working. They don't go back to the hive until seven for the night. And then they all, I guess, sleep there for the night. <laughs> so I was confused, but um, anyway, we got our beehives home and there's lots of flowers around here for them. So I think they're happy. And then as their hive grows, we'll add more boxes. The boys are just putting some straps down so animals don't get into the beehives. We're packing up for a trip to go to Jason and Jackie's daughter's wedding, Katie's wedding. Ken and I are going down there and we, try to get our garden in the best we can. So I'm gonna give you a little garden tour. The girls are saying, hey, they're so pretty. I wanna give you a garden tour before we leave. We didn't get everything in, but we did the best we could. Now last year, several of you suggested using cattle panels for the tomatoes. I took your suggestion. I also have a friend, she does the same thing. It always works out so good for her. So we used two 16-foot cattle panels and made rows. These first two rows are San Marzano tomatoes. They're paste tomatoes for making sauce. Last year I grew enough tomatoes to make all of my own tomato sauce and uh, tomato juice. And I'm hoping to do more uh, tomato products this year. I'd like to can some salsas and different things like that. But these uh, little tomato clips, you just clip the center leader there. They've been working really good. I'm really excited about that. We got part of it mulched. We just put the bags here and we'll just mulch it when we get home. You know, you can only do what you can do. <laughs> but uh, it'll be here when we get back, that's for sure. Now, this uh, third row has beefsteak tomatoes and brandywine heirloom tomatoes. They're all slicing tomatoes. And this fourth row over here is a little bit of a hodgepodge of cherry tomatoes. There's some red, there's some yellow, there's some uh, orange, grape tomatoes, that kind of thing. And then over here, um, this is the first year that I've grown these type. They're called Tiny Tim. And my gardener sent me some seeds, so I thought I'd give them a try. And um, they're cute little things, aren't they? They're loaded. And um, yeah, I thought I'd give them a try. We'll see how they do. I have some dahlias because, you know, I love my flowers. Got to have some beauty. All right. Over here, we have just about every pepper known to mankind. <laughs> I have red, orange, yellow, green bell peppers, serranos, a lot of jalapenos. When I canned that cowboy candy last year, it was very popular with the household. So I purposely grew more jalapenos this year. I also am growing some poblanos, pasillas, red and green hatch, um, cayenne, paprika, uh, the little red cherry hot and sweet for making like a hoagie spread. Um, Cubanal, pepperoncinis, pimentos, uh, puya. I don't know if I'm remembering all the ones we have planted. 
Cubanel, pepperoncinis. I canned pepperoncinis last year and they turned out good, so I grew uh, quite a few this year because we use quite a few pepperoncinis and um, they canned up well, so yeah. I might have one or two other varieties that I'm just forgetting off the top of my head, but um, you'll see them when we harvest them. Now this here, let me get on the side here so you can see. Oh, there's some mint. I have it in a pot because it's so invasive. But I used these cattle panels to make a couple of arches here. And I have English cucumbers growing on one. And then this one over here, I have pickling cucumbers. So I'm hoping that they trellis up. Over here, I have quite a few herbs, thyme, rosemary. The uh, chives wintered over, you can see. And we have some lettuce and spinach, another little bunch of chives, sage, dill, flat leaf parsley, whole bunch of basil. I like to uh, make pesto and freeze it. Now this is some voluntary, um, the wind's blowing here. I'm trying to uh, kind of block the wind here. Uh, this was some voluntary cilantro. It's already going to seed, but I've been using the heck out of it. And then I just planted some more cilantro here. Uh, and uh, yeah, cilantro goes to seed really quick anyway. Another row of jalapenos, like I said, I'm gonna get a bunch of those cowboy candies uh, uh, canned up. Now we have some artichokes. Over there is some uh, summer squash. And in the corner, there's some peanuts. <laughs> That's an experiment. I think I started it in January. It has a 180 day growth cycle. We'll see how they turn out. Um, I have acorn squash, uh, butternut squash. These are Brussels sprouts here. We have some tomatillos growing. They did well last year. I have some cantaloupe, and then over here is uh, some zucchini. They already have flowers on them. And then I have another little bed that I have onions, shallots, garlic, and potatoes growing. And I hope before I leave this evening, I wanna get out to the greenhouse and uh, just quickly start some pumpkin seeds and watermelon and bush green um, bush green beans so hopefully when we get back we can get those going but that is our vegetable garden as of today <laughs> we really pushed hard to get it in the temps oh you know how the the forecast always says it's gonna be great weather you know well it took a little turn for the the cold <laughs> the colder weather and it was um in the low 40s last night. I think tonight it's gonna to be low of 42, and then the temps rise. So we dodged a bullet there. I think it'll be fine. And then uh, we're getting ready to get that vineyard in when we get back, and I'll give you guys a tour of the orchard uh, when we get back. And uh, yeah, so that's our garden to date. I'm curious to see what it's gonna be like in a couple weeks. Uh, just Ken and I are going to the wedding. We're going to go uh, 10 days early to help them. It's going to be at their home. So we decided to go a little bit early and help them prepare. Our boys and a couple of their cousins and my brother are going to be here. So I'm sure they're going to be able to hold down the fort just fine. Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a tour. Let me know what you're growing in your garden this year. And I'll talk to you later in the next video.